بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر کریئرس آف کلاس ٹین ویلکم یو آل ٹو دس آن لائن اسلام اینڈ مورل ایجوکیشن کلاس آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر فائن بائی دا کریس آف آل مائٹی اللہ وی آر آلسو فائن ڈیئر کریئرس فرسٹ آف آل آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی سیلف I am Muhammad Muradullah, lecturer in Islamic studies, Borishal Kerat Police, Borisha. Coronavirus awareness. Dear cadets, you already know about the pandemic situation all over the world because of COVID-19. Our country, Bangladesh, is not different than that. Day by day increase the affected persons. So we have to maintain some precautious activities, such as wash your hands often, wear a face mask, sanitize constantly, stay at home, avoid close contact, avoid crowded places over cough and seasoning. I hope all of you are following this health and hygiene accordingly. Also, I expect that you are all staying home and staying safe and sound. May Allah protect us from this deadly disease. Without no more delay, Dear colleagues, I would like to mention today's discussion topics. Our today's discussion topics is respect for women and patriotism. Chapter 4, lesson number 9 and 10. Learning outcomes. After listening to the lecture, inshallah, you will be able to describe the idea of respect for women and patriotism, narrate the dignity and ways of showing respect to women and Islam, narrate the importance and significance of patriotism. First of all, respect for women. Respect for women is a most important issue of Islam. It is a most important aspects of human character or Muslim character. Also, it is a most important aspects of of Akhlaqe Hamid. Respect for women has got wide meaning. Generally, it means a feeling or attitude to show respect to a woman and in the wider sense respect for women denotes a respectful disposition of the mind to respect the inter woman kind for instance to recognize equality of men and women on the ground of creation not to underestimate a woman only because she is a woman, not to buffer or mock at woman, rather given her due to terms of rights and dignity, the scope and opportunity for works, protecting her life, property, honor, etc. are proper instance of respect for women. importance and significance. Dear careers, there are very important and significant event of Islam is respect for women. Islam is the only religion which by making no discrimination has recognized the position of women to be the same, same as that men 
in the ancient Arabian society, the condition of women was miserable. If a female baby was born, the parents would become upset. Some communities would bury the female baby's life. In this regard, Allah Almighty says, in that society, if anyone if is informed of the birth of his daughter, darkness falls down on his face for the whole day. He becomes disappointed and suffers from heart attack. At the news, out of shame, he hides his face from others. At his failure to endure disgrace, he is in a dilemma whether he will let the girl live or bury her in the ground. Be aware how cruel and disgusting decision they make. Surah Nahal, Ayat 58 and 59. With the emotions of the great prophet of some woman but back her own status. In Islam, it is said, meaning the heaven lies underneath the feet of mothers. Nasai. In a hadith, the great prophet Muhammad has given emphasis on the dignity of a mother more than a father. As creation of Allah, man and woman are of equal status. Allah Almighty affirmed meaning. Of course, I do not destroy the good deeds of any among you, be he either a male or a female. You are the part of each other. So Al Imran. Ayat 195. Dear cadets, Islam is the most important religion. He show full respect in women. Islam has liberated women from such humiliating condition. It is Islam that has first of all announced the rights and dignity of women. It has accorded recognition to the contribution and role of women in various spheres of life. In Islam, predictions have been provided for for attaining success in, in this and the next life by showing respect to women. Dignity and respect for women in Islam. In the midst of the darkness that engulfed the world, the divine revelation echoed in the wide desert of Arabia with a fresh, novel, and universal message to humanity. Allah Almighty says, O mankind, give your duty to your Lord who created you from a single soul and for its created its mate, and from them twins has spread a multitude of men and women. That's like, Ya Ajwan Nas, Inna Kalakna Kumin Dakaru Unsa. A scholar who pondered about this was stated. It is believed that there is no text old or new that deals 
with the humanity of the woman from all aspects with such amazing bravery, eloquence, depth, and originality as this divine dictated. Stressing this noble and natural conception, the Quran state, he it, it is who did create you for from a single soul and therefore did create, create his needs that he might dwell with her. Dear careers, Islam has accorded women equal right as a man in terms of religion, religious freedom, status, and spiritual attainment in performing religious obligations and taking reward for for that no discrimination exists. Allah the Most High says, according Islam or according Iman, both men and women, whoever da, does good deeds will enter Jan. No injustice ever for, for the size of a point will be done to any anyone. Surah Nisa had one twenty-four. Dear friends, now I would like to discuss dignity and respect for women step by step. And first of all, the spiritual aspects. The Quran provides Clear cut evidence that woman is completely equated with man in the sight of Allah in terms of her rights and responsibilities. The Quran state every soul will be in place for its deeds. It is also says so their law, their Lord accepted their prayers. I will not suffer to be lost the work of any of you, whether male or female. You proceed on from another. Allah Almighty also says, whoever works righteousness, man or woman, and has paid verily to him will Will he will we give a new life that is good and pure and will bestow on such their reward according to their actions? Woman according to the Quran is not blamed for Adam's first mistake. Both were jointly wrong in their disobedience to Allah. Both repented and both were forgiven. This, this is clear to tender does tons of the Islamic teaching for they are considered of the faith and a woman may be nursing her baby or caring for him and thus maybe unable to go out to the mosque at the time of their prayers. They also make into account the physiological and psychological changes associated with her natural female functions. Number two, social aspects. The social aspects a woman has 
women has given more status in Islam other than the other religion or other society. Number eight, as a child and an adolescence, despite the social acceptance of female infant infanticide among some Arabian tribes, the Quran forbid this custom and considered it, it it is a crime like any other murder. And who, who, when the female buried alive is questioned for what crime she was killed. Citizen the attitude of such parents who reject their female children. The Quran stated when news is brought on, brought to one them of his face of a female of his face dark darkens and he is filled with inward grief with shame does he hide himself from his people because of the bad news he has had shall we retain her no and compete competing, contempt, or put it her in the past, dust. Ah, what a evil they decide one. Or the saving the car life so that she may later suffer injustice and in, in equality. Islam requires kind and just treatment for her. Among the saying of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in this regard are following. Whoever has daughter and she does not bury her alive, does not insult her and does not favor his son over her, Allah will enter him into paradise. Conservers support to daughters will then you he and I will come in the day of judgment as this. And he pointed with his two finger held together. A similar hadith is detailed is in like manner with the, with one of support to sisters. The right of female to seek knowledge is not different from the, that of female. Males, Prophet Muhammad said, Seeking knowledge is mandatory for every Muslim, be as a wife. The character of man is an Islamic society is established in relation or to their treatment of women. As our beloved prophet mentioned, the peace from among you is one who he have based towards his wife. Islam is the first religion that settled the rights of women as wives and associate the element of giving respect to them. Allah says in the Holy Quran, and among his sign is this that the created wives from among yourselves, that you may dwell in tranquility with them and he put love and mercy between your hearts. Therefore, the love that produces 
tranquility is put in the heart of both the parents, partners. Hence, husband and wife both have the duty to duty of caring and loving each other for a healthy relationship. Also, women are the caretaker of men is the same way as men are the caretaker of women. Last one, as a mother. Islam considered kindness to parents next to worship of Allah. And to, in this connection, Allah Almighty says, and to, we have enjoined upon man to be good to his parents. His mother bears him in weakness upon weakness. Moreover, the Quran has special recommendation for the good treatment of mother. Allah Almighty says, your Lord has decreed that you worship nuns, save him, and that you be kind to your parents. In the Hadith, a man come to Prophet Muhammad and asking, O Messenger of Allah, who among the people is the most worthy of my good company? The Prophet Muhammad said, Your mother. The man said then, Who else? The Prophet said, Your mother. The man asked, then who else? The Prophet said, the mother. The man asked, then who else? Only then did the Prophet say, your father, Bukhari and Muslim. A famous saying of the Prophet is, Paradise is at the feet of mothers. So we can say that Islam has given more respect for women than the other religions. Number three, the economic aspects. Islam decreased a right of which women was deprived both before Islam and after it. The right of independence, worship according to Islamic law, women's right to her money, real estate, or other properties is fully acknowledged. This right undergoes no change whether she is single or married. She retained her full right to buy, sell, mortgage, or lease any or all her properties. It is now here suggested in the law that a woman is a minor simply because she is a female. It is also noteworthy that such right applies to her parties before marriage as well as to that he acquired thereafter. With regards to the woman's right to seek employment, it should be stated first that Islam regards her role in society as a mother and a wife as a most sacred and essential one. Neither minds nor baby sister can possibly take the mother's peace, please as the educator of and upright, complex, free and carefully treated children. Such a noble and 
vital role which largely shapes the future of nations cannot be regular regarded as idleness. The political aspects. Number four, any fair investigation of the teaching of Islam into the history of Islamic civilization will surely find a clear evidence of human equality with men in what we can we call to the political rights. This includes the rights of election as well as, well as uh, nomination to political offices. It also includes human rights to participate in public affairs, both in the Quran and Islamic history. We find an example of women who participated in serious discussions and are good even with the Prophet himself. During the Khilafat of Omar, Omar a woman are good with him in the mosque, proved her point and caused him to declare in the presence of people are wrong. A uh, woman is right and Omar is wrong. Although not mentioned in the Quran on Hadith of the Prophet interpreted to make women ineligible for the position of the head of the state. The Hadith refers, referred to is regularly uh, translated a, pe a people will not prosper if they let a woman the leader. This limitation, however, has nothing to do with the dignity of a woman or with her rights. It is rather related to the natural differences in the biological and physi physiological makeup of men and women. Ways of showing respect to women. Dear critics, Islam has given most respect and honor or dignity to women than the other society, civilization, and religion. Islam has shown respect to women is indicated indicative of refined mentally in men. Mere showing respect outwardly is not enough. Rather one has got to prove it by once does the and conduct. In our family, we have relatives such as mother, daughter, sister, wife, grandmother, paternal and maternal aunt, etc. And it, in our workplace, we have female teacher, class, follow, class followers and colleagues. It is mark of respect to treat them well, show them proper respect, love and affection to ensure the society of their life and honor and to give them their rights. We have been frequently instructed on this in the Quran and Hadith. Rasulullah has said, Allah nas. Meaning, you fear Allah in respect of women. That means one must not ill behave with them and with let them have their rights. In the sermon of the last Pharaoh, Rasulullah has emphasized the 
protection of the rights and dignity of women. Allah the Most High has commanded good conduct towards wives. Allah says, "Wa'ashiru hunna fil bil ma'aru," meaning, "You shall leave you with your wives by keeping up best manners." Surah An-Nisa, Ayat 19. Rasulullah Sallam has described as his best followers those person who treat their wives well. Rasulullah says, Khairukum, khairukum The best among you is he who is best to his wives. In fact, best manner with women is the dark of a woman, mark of a woman. In the absence of respect towards women, Iman does not become perfect. Feeling of respect towards women is one of the most important issues of Akla Kamida. It is essential to have this vasu in order to attain perfect moral and human qualities. A woman has got to be respected by heart, shown care, love, and honor and to wives and daughters must be loved. Alongside this, one has to prove through his feeling by one's conduct and deeds. Women must not be oppressed in any form. They must not be mocked at, rebuffed, rebuffed, or slighted. If teaching must not be practiced and such act or sign by which they feel insulted or painted at heart must not be adopted. Rather their dues and rights must always be accorded. They must be helped and supported as and when necessary. Facilities must be provided for the development of their merit and talent. They have to be inspired for prosperity and progress. These are how women can be respected. This make Allah Almighty pleased. Thus we can attain success both in this world and Akira. Number two, patriotism. Dear cadets, patriotism is is one of the noble virtue of Islam, love and attraction, attraction for one's own native land is a natural instance. Gradually this love and affection lead towards the country, the native land and the native people. The total expression of one's attraction, love, and care for their motherland is called patriotism. Patriotism is a great virtue in a person's life. At the center of patriotism lie love for the own territory, offering, offering due respect and love for the people of the country protecting the freedom and sovereignty, showing respect, reverence towards the history, traditions, 
convert conventions, customs, rituals, religious and cultural values of the country. Even, even in case one goes abroad for or some business, this feeling is created some does not diminish. Rather, this feeling of love and respect for our own land for pervades his immigrations. This feeling of togetherness and attraction is, is what may be called patriotism. Importance of patriotism. The importance and significance of patriotism of Islam is immense. Islam has highly emphasized love for the country. The, Pope, the great prophet had a deep love for his native land and for the people of Mecca. He would bear inhuman torture while preaching the code of life to them. Following the torture of the Kafir upon his followers, the great prophet allowed the Sahabis to leave Mecca for Abyssinia, but he himself remained in Mecca. Driven by the Pitiness, pitiless conspiracy of the Kafirs and then, the, then by the dictation of Allah. When he was com compelled to leave Mecca for Medina, the, he repeatedly walked back to Mecca, uttering with a heavy heart, Oh my dear native land, how beautiful to art. I loved thee, had not my own teeth and kin conspired, I would never have left you. His companions had also deep love for Mukka. After his wrath, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Radhalatalanu, Hazrat Bilal, Radhalatalanu, put high favor in Madina. During illness, they would recite poem on Mokka grass and sharaps, hills and dales and mountains. The Holy Prophet of Allah saying the condition of his Sahabis said, O oh Allah, fill our heart with the same love or move for Medina as we have for Mecca. Sorry. Patriotism. Patriotism inspired people to defend their country. A patriot never hesitates to decide his life and Property for the sake of his country, freedom and sovereignty. Rasulullah Islam says to increase oneself for a whole night to guiding the sovereignty of a country is much greater than fasting for 30 days consecutively and worshipping for the whole night. It is also said, Hukulwatana Minan Iman. Patriotism is a part of Iman. Patriotism makes a person conscious of his duties. It gives him her alert for the development of his country. It also prompts us to work for the preservation of the resources of the country. So we love our country and work for its prosperity.
we shall defend the country's freedom and sovereignty. How to show patriotism? Here careers. Patriotism or love for homeland is a peculiar feeling. It is not civil. One has to express this love through one's deed and act service. Patriotism is evidence evinced by working in an interest of motherland. Motherland can be loved by defending its independence, contributing the national development, not helping anyone in Sabra, super, super safe activities by maintenance of national resources, self sacrifice in the interest of the country, etc. The best form of patriotism is to sacrifice one's life for the welfare of the motherland as like our freedom fighters. Patriotism can also find express in love for the competitors and working for their well-being. Patriotism may also be demonstrated by contributing to the advancement of our agriculture, industry, education, commerce, etc. So, dear cadets, we shall love our country, we shall build ourselves our impressive and competent citizen through education, training, learning, and other services. Thus, we shall work unitedly for the development of our land. We shall not allow any anti state activities to happen. We shall properly utilize our national resources. We shall not waste nicer and destroy the resources. We shall not sit it to sacrifice our lives when so needed for the defense of our motherland. With question and suggestions, session. Dear cadets, with this we have come to the end of today's class. If you want to ask any question, on this lesson, leave it in the comment box. Inshallah, while I will be happy and remain present to answer. Homework. Cadets, I have given you a homework as, as a homework. Siku question. It is based on the patriotism. So, dear cadets, your, your responsibility, your duty, the Siku question, read carefully and make answer your home, at your home, on your khata. Next class. Now, topic for next class. Your today's next class topic is dutifulness and cleanliness. Lesson no 
number 11 and 12. Check this. Again, Corona awareness. I expect that all of you are following the health and hygiene accordingly. You should wear mask everywhere when you go to outside the at home, outside the home, wash hands frequently, boil your food properly, avoid contact, use soap and antibacterial gel, cough on your elbow, keep your distance minimum two meet four feet regular sleeves etc i hope you all are maintain this cautious precautious steps of coronavirus dear kids that's all for today we'll meet in the next class inshallah Allah Hafiz, stay home, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.